Chapter 19, Object Lifetime and Memory Management, Solution Movie 19.1. In this exercise, you will apply what you've learned in this chapter to fix a strong reference cycle. So our first step is to open the Memory Management Demo Project in Xcode, and I've got that open over here. Next step is add a new class named Employee to the project. So I'll right-click this group, say New File, Source Swift, and Employee. I'll move this over so we can see it. And we need to create the class employee and add a property named office of type optional office. It has an empty initializer and a dinit. And we have this message displayed when the object is released and is deinitialized. Okay, so that's the employee class. Next step, we're going to add a new class named Office to the project. I can just right click, say new file, source, Swift, and Office. So you can say class office. It has an employee property of type optional employee. It also has an empty init and a dinit. In the file inspector, add the employee and office classes to the memory management demo test target. So I'll display this. Go to file manager. And with this one selected, I say that it is part of memory management demo tests. And do the same for the employee. For our next step, in the memory management demo test.swift code file, add the following test method. And I'll move this over a little bit so I can see it. And the test employee office method is completed. Our next step says, run the unit test and confirm there is a strong reference cycle between the two objects. So I'll set a breakpoint here. I'll command build. Let's build my project. And we'll go to the test navigator. Here's our test method. I'll click the run button. And we hit our breakpoint. So we create the employee object. Create the office object. We store one reference, we assign an office to an employee, then we assign an employee to an office. So this is our circular reference. I set the employee variable to nil. And we can see nothing happens down here in the console. And then I set office to nil. And again, we're not seeing the dinit method displayed in the console. So we do indeed have a strong reference cycle. So I'll click Stop. Step 7 says, you have two options for fixing the circular reference. Choose the most appropriate and fix the problem. If we go back to the chapter summary, it mentions you can resolve a circular reference in one of two ways. Your first option is to change one of the strong references to a weak reference. And our second option is to use an unowned reference. And as it mentions here, unowned references are similar to weak references and not keeping a strong hold on objects. The difference is that unowned references are not optional. 
the reference is always assumed to have a value. So which is most appropriate to use in this circumstance? When I think about this relationship between an employee and an office, uh, it is optional. An employee doesn't always have an office, and an office can be empty. It may not have an employee. So since I'd like those relationships to be weak, I can go back to our project navigator, select our employee, and change this property to a weak property. Let's go back and let's run our test again. We create our objects. We create the references. We set employee equal to nil. But notice when we set office equal to nil, both objects deinitialize. So we fixed our strong reference cycle.